Hey everybody. Just fed my tank here. This is my 55 gallon Grammy tank. And my striped Raphael normally does not come out of his cave to eat. He just sort of does what he's doing now, kind of wobbles around back and forth. And usually the current brings enough food his way. And I usually put the sinking algae wafers in on this side. You can see that Moonlight Garami up there has a chunk of one now. And generally enough of the pieces fall right in front of him that he never has to come out. But twice in the last few minutes I've looked over and he's actually been out and swimming around. So I'm going to hopefully we can get some uh, video here of him swimming around if he ever comes back out again. Of course now that I have my camera that's probably a big no. You won't. I did uh, put my red tail loach back in this tank today and they were squabbling quite a bit. I got some video of them fussing over this cave who was going to get to live in it and I suspected that the Raphael here would be the winner. This is a uh, armored catfish and they're called armored catfish for a reason and while the loach might have some formidable um, weapons it doesn't have very much in the way of defenses and this catfish has both it's got weapons and defenses so it's also got the size on the uh, loach so I assumed he was going to be the winner and this was going to be his cave come the end of the day and it only took about 10 minutes for them to sort it out and the loach did pretty much what I thought he went and hid back underneath um, again in the back you can kind of see where that uh, green coloration is uh, back near where that moonlight garami is that's the edge of a big piece of wood and down underneath of that it leads to a big cavity underneath of that piece of wood and quite a few loaches fit under there and that's where he used to live the red tail loach that is used to live under there when it was in this cave originally and now that it's back in there it didn't take it long for it to find that again well, I was hoping we'd get to see a little more of my Raphael there, but I guess not. Although, maybe. I'll step away for half a moment. Maybe we will. My little honey garamis are still looking good in here. Everybody's doing okay. No losses that I've noticed. Uh, my numbers of neons have probably reduced by a couple, but I haven't found any dead neons. So, if any have been picked off by my Raphael there... You know, I'm not too concerned about that, but I haven't actually lost any um, since they've gone in the tank. So I'm happy about that. See, that angelfish doesn't know what to make of these loaches when they come up and do their loach thing when they want to swim around and inspect the fish. I'm assuming they're doing that looking for parasites on the fish, and it's more of a grooming thing than anything else but I'm not sure that the angelfish is too keen on that I think maybe over time the angelfish will get used to it I haven't seen any damage on the angelfish in regards to its fins and I don't mean in the sense that the loaches will be nipping at the fins I'm not expecting to see that happen but what will happen is angelfish will uh, dash they're not long distance speed swimmers they can go really fast for a really short distance they can kind of suddenly move three inches out of the way but when they dash like that it usually does damage to their fins and the longer and more luxurious their fins are the more likely they are to get torn and shredded up and this one's got some pretty long and luxurious fins so so far so good he's not being harassed to the point where I'm seeing any damage to its fins so that usually occurs when there's aggression between um, two territorial males and they're sort of dashing and fighting they do this sort of dance around each other and again they dash so quickly that it tears their fins it literally rips their fins apart as they do it so I've not yet seen any of that kind of damage and again you can see over here now that we got a little bit of group of the neons going on together they're still looking good in here as always so there you go just a little update on my garami tank i was hoping we'd get to see a little bit more of my striped raphael as i said but no such luck so make sure you're subscribed that way you won't miss anything i got coming up you never know what it's going to be with me don't forget this one here is my garami tank thanks again for watching and i'll see you real soon in the next one